Hey guys, Julian Lello here and welcome back to my channel. So today, something, something not quite right. Now that I've got your attention, make sure you subscribe to my channel. So as some of you may be aware, I shoot a lot of social media content for restaurants and cafes. And the issue is that after a while, the same still images of flat lays or isometric angles of food becomes a little bit monotonous. So a lot of clients now are starting to look for that more dynamic or moving content. But unfortunately, not all have the budget to create video. So what I've been doing of late is doing a lot of stop motions or GIFs. Um, so what I want to do now is show you how to create a GIF in Photoshop. These GIFs aren't necessarily just to be used for food, but they can be used for any moving subject that you want to create uh, a little piece of content for. But the example I'm going to give today is from a food shoot I did recently. So ideally what you need to start with is a sequence of images that shows movement of the food, um, preferably shot on a tripod. I'll show you a, li a little example here. This one was shot handheld and what you can see is a little bit of movement between each frame from the still objects which kind of takes away a little bit from the end result so preferably you want to shoot where possible with a tripod a number of frames that make up the movement it can be eating a dish which will be the example shown today it could be a dish being created so the elements of a dish being stacked upon each other or even plates moving around a table so what we'll do now is We'll jump into Photoshop and I'll really quickly take you through how you can make a GIF in just a few minutes. So just quickly I'll show you the GIF that I'm going to be making today. It's this plate of gnocchi being eaten and here are the working files. So what I've done is I've cropped and edited these files in Lightroom. If you want to know a little bit more about Lightroom editing for food photography, I'll link a video up in the top left corner and in the description. But essentially what I've got here is 12 images that make up the GIF we're going to make today. So to start off with, I'm just going to drag the initial image into Photoshop. So we've got Photoshop opened up and then let's just hold down shift, highlighting the remaining images, drag them into Photoshop and just hit enter to place each layer into Photoshop. So there we go. Now what we need to do is go up to window and hit timeline. This will bring up this box down the bottom that gives you the option to create a frame animation. Hit create frame animation, then come to this little drop down menu on the right hand side, make frames from layers. And what it does there across the bottom, across your timeline, it brings up the 13 frames that are gonna make up your moving GIF. This is where we highlight all the frames and down the bottom here you'll see that it's set to zero seconds. So what that means is if I hit spacebar to play it through, what you can see is that it's moving with zero seconds pause between each frame. And to me that's a little bit fast so we're going to slow it down a bit. So by highlighting all of them, we click on the zero seconds, it gives us some options. Let's try 0.2 seconds and there you see slowed it down a little bit. It's giving you 0.2 seconds between each one. Me personally, I generally click other, hit 0.15 and there's your GIF. What you need to keep in mind is when exporting these for Instagram in particular, they need to be a minimum of four seconds long. So if 13 frames at 0.15 seconds doesn't add up to your four seconds, you need to multiply that out uh, to make sure that you hit four seconds. So to do that, again, we just highlight the whole lot, click on this plus down the bottom here, which multiplies it out to 26 frames there. Again, hit it again. Okay. And then we've got, that'll cover the four seconds. Now that's pretty much done. All you need to do now is export. So we go export, render video, this is to save it as an MP4. And here we just give it a name, select a folder, we'll just drop that on the desktop for now. Pasta, 
gif H.264, high quality. Make sure that the document size, 1080 by 1350, is the size that you crop originally cropped your photos in. 30 frames per second and render. That now runs through a little process. Um, generally doesn't take very long at all. And we can see here on the desktop, we've got our completed GIF. It's that simple, just a few few minutes in Photoshop and you can get some really dynamic moving content for your clients. That's it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed that, if you got something out of it, hit like, help me out with a subscribe. And the last very important question, beard or no beard? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for pressing play.